Well, this is uh, going to be a quick blurb, I think. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, blurbish greetings to you. I've got a disc here. The disc itself isn't special. It's just a random thing that was wiped and something put on there. Yeah, this is a flyby screensaver from Computer Reset. I was there again not too long ago uh, in Texas. I'm going to do a follow-up video over on the main LGR channel. But this is something that was it found, you know, surfaced since the last time I was there. Uh, shout out to Andy Goth, one of the volunteers. Uh, it's just a fascinating, really talented dude. And this is one of the things that he ran across um, on a computer that apparently was sourced originally from Lockheed Martin. Yeah, the <laughs> like defense company that makes everything from aircraft to missiles and whatever else. And that's actually what this is. It's an aircraft screensaver that I've never seen before. And I can't find any information about it online. Um... I don't actually know if it's like a Lockheed Martin screensaver. It was just found on a computer that was from them, apparently. It, it didn't have a whole ton of stuff on the machine itself. It, here's some footage of it in action on the machine. Uh, it was, you know, nothing special, but it was like the stuff that was still on the hard drive that had survived. Apparently it was kind of used as like a sort of a terminal, really, connected to more important systems. So there wasn't a ton actually on the hard drive, mostly software to connect to the other systems. But the screensaver was on there, and I thought it looked really cool. Um, it's just, I don't know. If anybody has any information about this, please let me know. I'd love to find the source of the screensaver. I don't actually know if it was from Lockheed Martin or if they just, you know, somebody there was like obviously into aircraft and they just wanted a cool aircraft screensaver. Because as far as I can tell... It actually might be from Japan, or at least it's based on a, a Japanese aerobatics team, the Blue Impulse, which uh, seems to be... I had never heard of them before, but yeah, they seem to be kind of a, a Japanese equivalent of the U.S.'s Blue Angels. You know, it's just one of those aerobatics, acrobatics in the air teams that go around at air shows and events and things like that. Many fond memories of seeing Blue Angels and flybys and whatnot at air shows back in the day. And I guess also in the UK, you have like the Red Arrows and whatnot. Yeah, there's there's a bunch of those teams all around the world. Anyway, I think this is a screensaver for Blue Impulse. Well, that's enough of this, though. Let's just take a look at it. Okay, so I've got a Windows 95 PC going here. It's actually an HP Omnibook, an 800CT. And one of my favorite little systems that I don't know if I've ever showed, but had this thing for years, been meaning to do a video on it for years. I don't actually remember its exact specs, but I believe it will be slow enough to run this screensaver. Uh, I would just run this on like my 486, uh, the wood grain PC, but that is Windows 3.1. The screensaver doesn't seem to work on 3.1. Anyway, yeah, this is a, a CPU sensitive thing, so it'll just uh, run extremely quickly on my normal Windows 98 PC. So this right here, you, <laughs> that was my really only clue to go on. You see the icon there says Blue Impulse. Yeah, kind of a vaguely like their livery going on for the aircraft they use. So I, anyway, I don't actually know if it's a, a Blue Impulse screensaver or what, because it shows what appears to be like different aircraft. There's the original modified date, November 18th, 1998. At least it was when we found it at, uh, or when Andy found it at Computer Reset. So anyway, I already got this installed on here. Just wanted to show that on the floppy disk. And it shows up here. Yeah, it's running real fast there. So the settings, there are none. I just can't find any information about this. Yeah, we'll just let it run for a bit because I think it is cool. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's running pretty much, I think, how it should. I don't know. It was extremely quick even on like a Pentium 2 but this looks pretty good to me yeah it just uh has like an old flight sim aesthetic but even simpler than that kind of somewhere in between like Microsoft Flight Simulator 3 or like Spectre VR with a little bit of some Spectrum Holobyte I don't know it's just an interesting mix I thought <laughs> Of like wireframe and filled polygons and I mean yeah like there's some kind of impressive looking stuff and yeah see it changes jets look at that it's really cool like there's multiple models an f-16 right there dude yeah different liveries I, I love the like the trails 
<laughs> that it leaves. I guess those are supposed to be. Yeah, there's a contrails. How cool is that? So if anybody has any information, let me know. I'm quite curious. The uh, the blue impulse icon uh, could just be, you know, throwing me off in terms of thinking that's somehow a source of it. Because, yeah, you'd see screensavers or the screensaver files with just random icons back in the day. So they could have chosen anything. They could just have chosen the only icon that they had available that had a jet on it. For all I know. But yeah, I'd love to know if somebody could like take this apart, peek around the file. Uh, there will be a link in the video description if you want to download it from archive.org. Maybe it is somewhere else just under a different name, but like Flyby 2 is the only thing that I can see on here. And that is the file name and it also that's what it shows up as the screensaver itself within Windows 95. So uh, <laughs> yeah, that's all I got to go on. I just thought it was worth showing, and I think it's a really cool screensaver. I can see why some Lockheed Martin guy would want it on there. I mean, it just goes through all these different models of jets. Oh, it's so cool. And like the base design, some of the aircraft hangars, of course, it reminds me of like LHX and, oh man, like the Birds of Prey, you know, just various MS-DOS games. All right, I could just ramble. Hey, there it is. I was wondering if it had like an F-117 or something. There we go. That's super cool. Oh, that's super cool. I'm seeing things I haven't seen before. Uh, yeah. Well, that's it for this blurb. I'm just going to let this go for a little bit, uh, see if I can get a direct capture going. Wow, I wonder how many aircraft are in here. This is more than I realized. <laughs> All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Check out the stuff in the description. <laughs>